Good morning, everyone. This is almost 7.30, so we're a little bit, a couple of minutes del delayed. But I welcome you to our Good Morning channel, where we're restoring our motion, our movements, our joints. So we're working on our body to take care of it and make sure is everything functioning and everything working. My name is Jay, and welcome to Life Rx. As usual, we start our exercise in sitting position. Uh, if you can't sit in cross leg position, sit down on the couch, bench, uh, stool, make sure it's not movable and you feel safe, you're not gonna fall off. As usual, we need two bands, one rounded band and one long band. I usually use this one as 15 pounds and this is heavy uh, band for, for my hip, for my legs and upper body. Today, we're gonna focus on our upper body. It's a lot of people complaining for non-functioning of uh, shoulders or neck. And this is going to be the main idea. As usual, we sit down and try to pull ourselves up. Find that balance, see that postural discomfort, tension, limitation. We want to get rid of this. We want to make this disappear. And as usual, we're going to start with our, our breath 360. What we're doing, we're breathing through the nose. And we try to extend everything in all different directions forward to the side backward and a little bit up most of us breathing just up so we're doing this because we go we have this dystrophy of diaphragm muscle breathing muscles ribs ribs muscles and that's caused a lot of problem there we go i'm gonna breathe through the nose and let's start so big inhale you try to push all your muscle forward and when you exhale you kind of pull your stomach in inhale try to keep yourself up imagine you have a little strain attached to your head and pull you all the way up connect you to the space to universe everyone have this connection Keep extended. If you don't feel this extension, place your both hands on the stomach and apply a little bit pressure. Feel this both side is extended equally to push your arms equally. If you feel one side is more active than another, place these hands on the one side to weak side. You'd be surprising, even with this small exercise small movement sometimes you feel big difference it's really good a couple more now we're going to place our hands on the side of our body and extend it to the side we want to feel that pushing through your breath Extend to the sides. Little pop for me. looks really good push equally I feel really good go ahead and place your arms a little bit more high on this rib cage extend your rib cage to the side
feel really good. <clears throat> now I'm going to place my both hands on my chest and I'm going to push this chest down, resist it. I'm try to inhale up. But my arms resist of this breath. I try to keep myself up. And now from this position, with holding your arms on your chest, you're going to start extend your head and try to look up and down. Try to open all this front of neck. Make sure your chest is up and you look without pain. The golden rule of this class, if you experience pain, you stop doing this movement. This is all about to restore. The limitation is different. No pain. A couple more. And let it go. Now we're going to do counted breath. This is going to help us on focus on our goal, on our self. And balance our know, thinking. Like I said, focus. This is important in our life. So we're going to count to four and breathe. We're going to inhale, hold, exhale, and hold. Let's begin. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Now hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. And hold, go ahead on your own. I'm gonna stop counting for you. Keep focus on your breath and count. Go ahead and do one more cycle. When you finish the cycle, just go back to your normal breath. Really good, just sit down, observe. How do you feel? What's any changes in your body? If not, it's absolutely okay. Maybe you feel more relaxed. Place your both hands on your knee and we start turning our neck. We're gonna start checking our neck. We already did extension and flexion. Now we're gonna do rotation left and right. See if anything caused discomfort or pain during the turning your head. Try to pull your chest up. If this happening, you know what to do. If you don't, Check our previous videos. Really good. We already did flexion extension. Our next exercise, we're gonna focus on our shoulders. It's a lot of stress in the shoulders. 
we're holding that backpack all the time, our mentally backpack, all this stress. So we're gonna shrug our shoulders towards our ears and drop it fast. Inhale and exhale, drop. Feel this heat activate your muscle. More focusing on the drop your shoulders. A little bit longer. And come a couple more. And the last one, you're gonna pull everything up. Hold, squeeze all your body, squeeze everything, pull, pull yourself up. Now slowly let it go. Feels great. Feels great. Next one, we need a rounded band. We're going to work on our neck rotation and also start working on our shoulder mobility. So this is how I do. I put my both hands inside the band, my palms looking at each other. Now I stretch the band a little bit wider and it's coming right behind your occipital area. My arms, as you can see, they're holding right in this position. I'm switched to one arm and what I'm doing here, let me take my head off. It's not designed. So around, around your head. Your head is coming on the side, create this little bit tension. Now you start turning your head left and right. If you have a lot of hair, just go kind of try a little bit, go close to your ear. What we're doing here, we start turning left and right with this tension <clears throat> from your right side. Yes, feels great. This is how we switch. We're going to go to the midline. My other arm is going side and I'm turn this to the right. Now I'm turning this way. Make sure you drop your shoulders down. And it's feel completely different when you're turning. It's make activate all these muscles around. The next one, my favorite one, we're gonna go to the midline. So right in front, hold this arms like this, like triangle or whatever that sign is. This is Illuminati. So <clears throat> now what we're doing here, we tuck our chin towards our chest. If you want more action, place one hand down, push it down and activate it. So we tuck that chin down. You're gonna feel a lot of pulling sensation in your back. You need this muscle to be active. You get a little bit of action. Release the band, see how you feel. Go ahead, turn a couple of times. I feel more active now. My neck is turning more accurate. Okay, next one we're gonna do uh, it's a half moon from one shoulder. We're going to rotate to the other. So this is the idea from left to right. Inhale and exhale only forward. We don't do this. I see a lot of people do full rotation. You put too much stress on your cervical uh, vertebra. You don't want that. So just in front, a little bit. Sometimes you feel a little click. And as you remember, we don't do this big side bending we put too much pressure on our vertebra and our nerves and artery which is coming from the side of your cervical area all right excellent now we're going to place our hands inside the band we're going to work on our thoracic mobility and the scapula so we doing what we're doing here the bands inside is stretch my elbow tuck in inside the midline it's not outside, it's just right in here. And what we're doing, we just extend forward, look forward, really good. Extend our arms, 
forward. Try to fight that tension all the time. Keep this tension all the time. You're going to feel that between your scapula, between your back. You're going to feel this good activation. You can do this against the wall with a foam roller too. This is the great exercise. Now you look up and try to follow the sounds with your head. Feel different now. Really good. Couple more. And release. Really good. The next one, my favorite, is called Archer. Now let's get, let's do our driver. The hands is uh, the still inside the band. And that's my favorite. You just like a holding the power still, uh, <clears throat> the driving still, power still. So, and you now you start turning like you're driving, driving will. Yeah, turning. You constantly keep this tension. A lot of people start doing this. That's not, that's not the idea. Keep this bent and tension and rotate up and down feels good you feel this in your delts a little bit in your pecs really good now the band is coming towards my body with elbow on the side and it's a simple move you just spread your i mean turn your palms up elbows in and you start stretch this band to the side no money drill Activate muscle between your shoulder blades, your delts. Great for your rotator cuff. A lot of people come in with rotator cuff. A couple more. That's really challenging for me today. I, I skip a couple of days. I feel really good, actually. Now, hold the band like a chain. like Still like power still, but outside of the band. Now, inside, outside. Now, you extend one arm to the side like you're shooting the bow. Pull your chest forward, you're not rounded, you're not here. It's all by your arm and the other side come to your jaw. You're gonna do just pulling this band, extend your body like a one piece. Elbow is parallel to the ground. You pull a couple more. Now pull and hold, and what you're doing here is start doing a small round of motion around your shoulder. You're gonna feel in this lats muscle it's from the side, shoulder too. You look right in that spot. The next one, you slowly turn your head neutral. You look forward and you start rotate your shoulder in and out. So emotion has come from your shoulder. Try to rotate in and out. Yeah, if this is limited or pain, stop doing, see your doctor. You might have some shoulder problem. Good, return to neutral position, switch side, extend my right arm, hold and push like I'm shooting here. Microphone on my way as usual. Working on our upper body today. Get some little bit lower back. We need attention there too. A lot of gonna be action on the weekends. Keep pulling. Now extend, hold and start. Do circle first, rotate. You can do clockwise, you can go all the way, play with your body. Yeah, you see him, I drop my elbow. Now I turn my head neutral and I start rotating elbow in and out. Here we go. Oh wow, it feels so great. We feel all those tiny muscle deltoids, mid, anterior, posterior, there's a lot of stuff going on up here. See how you feel? The next one, my favorite one, we're gonna, we don't need to bend for now, we'll just drop it in the front. Open your chest, two fists bounce in, in front, and what you're doing, you just open the chest, but the first mo motion is gonna be slow, uh, small. So one, two, and the third one, you pull forward and open up, one, two, 
squeeze your shoulder blades. Good. Excellent. A couple more. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the last one, just open up, pull your forward, hold, stretch, open this chest. Hold, hold, hold. Inhale and release. Next one is called lion or seated cat and cow. It depends how people call. Place your both hands on your knee. And what we're doing here, we just push our chest forward, open like a lion, and exhale round like a cobra, like a cat in sitting position. And make sure your head is not bounced a lot. So you're not bowing your head. All you do, you just push this chest forward. Yeah, create this mobility. We need that thoracic. A lot of restrictions come from your chest. Doing really good. Excellent. Feels good. And a couple more. All right, the next one is my favorite one. We open our side muscle. What we're doing here, we reach up, we're looking up. We stay here and try to pull yourself. Pull, pull, pull. Make sure you eat up. I mean, you're sitting equally on your butt. You feel both, both butt cheek, equal pressure. Now my right arm is coming on the side of my body, walking a little bit further. And now lean to the side, turn my head up, look up and see how you feel if you hear you hear that's absolutely okay breathe it's all about breath return to your neutral position pull your hands up now your left arm is coming on the side you walk a little bit further to the left. You lean to the side, you look up, and you breathe here. Try to turn your torso up. No limitation on this side. Ooh, wow, good pop for me. Feels good, I push myself up again, look up. Now my right arm has come right behind my right side, behind it, I'm not leaning. My left arm has come on my right knee and I'm turn and try to look what's behind me. The idea is mobilize only my upper body, turn my upper body, no lower body. We don't need to turn our lower back. Stay here, breathe. Feels great, switch side, left arm coming behind my butt. The right arm on, on my left knee, I'm turned to my left and look behind me. Oh, wow. You see, three days without exercise and I feel limitation. So invest time in your health. Turn to neutral position, see how you feel. I feel amazing. Let's go ahead and lay down on our back. So take your time. If you're sitting on the block, yoga block or abbey mat, remove it. Find yourself in this position. This is how easy and uh, safe way to go on your back. You pull the knee towards your chest, you hold it with your arms. You see, you can lift your foot up. You completely can sit in this position. You feel comfortable. Now you're going to slowly lower yourself down and lift this leg up in 90, 90 degrees. So this is our favorite 90, 90. My arms is looking up and we're going to do our favorite 90, 90 breath. Idea is breathe through your stomach here. Apply your hands to the stomach, as you can see. Let me turn a little bit this way. And what I'm feel, what I'm exhale, I feel this a lot of tension to my left side. It 
feels good. Now I'm returning my arms up and I'm starting my favorite dead bug. The idea is a cross pattern lines, kinetic line. You're gonna drop your left arm and right, uh, left, left arm and right leg in this position. Hold, don't touch the ground and see how you feel. Squeeze your glutes. Slowly return to the neutral position, 90-90, and switch side, left leg, right arm. See how's that side feel? This is less comfortable for me. Now I'm returning to the neutral position and start going a little bit quicker. Up and down, dead bug. Squeeze your glutes all the time. Really good. Couple more. Now we're gonna place our hand, uh, hands and knee together. My knee, my arms, and I'm extended at the same time. My arms and legs together. Feels good. Keep going. Wow, I feel a lot of tension in my body today. Now extend all the way down. Feel that pulling sensation. Pull yourself. There we go. A lot of clicks for me. Make sure your spine is completely on the ground. It's no space. I feel a lot of space on my right side and nothing on my left. So what I'm doing here, I take my both arm, place on this right side and start massaging my stomach. What I'm doing here, I go a little bit deep, push on my stomach and scoop up like I am scooping ice cream. Oh yeah. Here we go, good pop for me. And now I'm gonna go switch to my left side and I'd be surprised because my left side, that's the cause, this rotation in my spine. And that's why I feel this unequal. Feel a lot of sensitivity in this area. Right in there. Always massage your stomach before get up from the bed. It's gonna make your hips a little bit more balanced and equal. Here we go, a little pop again. I feel much better. That's amazing how small movements can change the whole body. Couple more. There we go, feel more equal. Maybe work a little bit up on your rib cage in this area, massage. Sometimes you find a lot of tension right on this rib. So kind of stick your fingers a little bit in under your rib cage. See if any soreness or discomfort up there. Just be gentle to yourself. Switch other side. So what I'm doing, I just go under rib cage. That's feel great. Now I'm gonna bring my heels towards my glutes. Just that simple two steps and you ready for the bridge. Idea is to squeeze your glutes and pull your butt up and your lower body. So pushing your arms up and all you do is just push and squeeze your glutes up. Look up and drop your butt down, up and down. Squeeze your glutes. Keep pushing yourself up. 
We're going to stay a little bit longer here. Keep squeezing your glutes. Feels great. Couple more. And the last one, push everything up and hold a little bit longer. Keep, extend your glutes. And when you're ready, lower yourself down and spread the legs a little bit wider. Put them on the side. Now my knee is going towards the midline. We're going to start with our left one. So I show you my arms can be palms down or palms up towards my face, like in the same level with my face. And what I'm doing here, drop knee towards this midline. Make sure my other knees stay where they are. It's not moved, uh, moving, it's not shifted to. And I can switch. And I can do left and right. Now what we're doing, we're gonna drop our knee both to the same side, left and right, just like that. Your arms is palms up and the same level of your face, your head. Turn, mobilize that hip. Feel that motion from your hip. Really good. Now we're gonna add our rotation of our neck. So I'm gonna turn the neck at the same, at the same uh, same time, but don't go different way. So I'm turning my knee to the right. My head is turning to the left. And I'm switch and see how that feel. Is that working? It's feel good. It's feel that rotation in my spine, that cranking sensation. It's really good to see if everything work. Everything is feel good. That's the goal of this class. Keep turning, couple more, great. Return to your neutral position, pull the knee close to your body and you start roll yourself up and down, massaging the spine. I feel a little bit stiff, wow. Never experienced stiffness in this exercise, but like I said, we change all the time. And now pull yourself up and see how you feel. Spread your knees, uh, spread your foot a little bit wide, sitting in this position. You place your arms behind you, pull yourself up. What we're doing here, we start dropping our knee towards the midline. See how that feel. Just like that. Mm-hmm. And now you pull yourself more up. I show you how we're gonna go to this position. You're gonna drop this knee, one to the side, left, and that one is coming close. Make sure you kind of try to sit still, uh, straight. You're not lean one side to another. Try to pull yourself up. See in this position, so 90 in front of me, and this one is 90. Now from this position, I'm just gonna switch my hip to the other side and turn. If this is, this is a little bit more advanced, if you experience discomfort and pain, make sure you're okay. Don't, you don't do this exercise if it's too much. So you see, I'm switching to this position. Here we go. Some people do without arm. I'm still use my arm to support myself. Here we go, a couple more. And it's feel 
just great. There we go. My hips is doing really good. Now, we're just going to flip on our stomach. Let me see which way I have to go. I'm probably going this way. There we go. Lay down. Put your hands right under your forehead. Push your head through these arms and start breath off. A crocodile breath. So you push your stomach up all the time. With your breath, you extend this muscle you feel this good pulling sensation in your lower back i can't go completely down because microphone but you go ahead it's feel amazing it's great for the chronic pain keep pushing really good keep breathing keep push your head down now your arm is coming close to your chest from this position is just sliding to the side. You prepare yourself for the cobra. Your head is looking down. Now your head is trying to look up. Now your thoracic area, your lumbar, and you push yourself all the way up. You try to look up. If you experience pain in some vertebra, I will show you what I mean now. Slowly go down your lumbar area. Go first, your thoracic and neck. Let's say I've tried to go up here. And I'm experiencing a lot of tension and pain. So I'm like, not the pain. You, even if you're pain, you just go back a little bit. Where is this no pain, comfortable zone? And you're just going to breathe right on this edge of discomfort. Take your time, slow. We're here to recover. We f we're here to feel good. We're not here to abuse our body, to push and this is this is like if you're pain, but otherwise you have to go up and slowly down. Teach your spine extend and flex. So you see my go slow lumbar area, thoracic now neck. Now neck is coming up with thoracic and up. Really good. Feels great. Excellent couple more now we're gonna do my favorite decompression of our spine the arms coming more towards the midline right in front of us you like that Egypt sphinx sphinx right is that right there we go sometimes people make joke I mean laugh on my accent but that's cool actually so now you're gonna pull yourself forward Last night I'm trying to say artifact, Art, it's artifact, right? But I say like more in Russian way, artifact, and people say, what, what do you want to fuck? So I'm just like, laugh on this one, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes stuff happen here, so absolutely okay. Pull yourself up, up forward, decompress your spine. Your arm is pulling forward, your legs is going down. That's a lot of funny story with my ex and stuff, but yeah. Let's, let's keep it behind the scenes. Feel great. Now my right arm from this position, my right arm is coming forward. And my left arm come more close to my shoulders. And left knee is coming up. So I'm holding myself in this position. That's called the partisan. So we're going to shift our hips. We try to stay low and visible and mobilize our hips the motion has come from this hip like this you switch and you look forward you try to crawling down so no one can see you you're invisible you partisan keep shifting your arms you can go quick you can go slow feel that side muscle of your body active it's coming from your hip. If you have difficulties, that's okay. It's take time. Feel this in your abdominal. Couple more. And switch. Now return to the neutral position. And extend your arms a little bit in front of you. Your legs. Um, try to stretch them. Now raise your legs up and shake them up and down like you're swimming. It's a really good exercise. Activate your glutes. Mm -hmm. Just up and down. And now extend your arms up. 
and go ahead, do your favorite swimmer. Hold yourself in the air, pull yourself up more. If you hear, you hear it, it's absolutely okay. That's the idea. Up and down. Up and down. Almost there, guys. It's a Friday. It's a lot of stuff going on in the weekend, so we need to be prepared our body. Couple more. Lower down. My arms is coming close to my chest. And I push myself up. That's the the push-up. I'm going up. Drop my knee down and pull myself to the tabletop position. From this position, I spread my knee a little bit wider. My foot is touching each other and I go into this child pose. Each breath, I go deeper and deeper and deeper. Let me remove my head and microphone because I really would love to do this with you guys. Here we go. Good, it's feel amazing. Feel that decompression of your spine too. Good feeling, sen uh, pulling sensation. Now slowly pull myself up to the tabletop position. My palms under my shoulders, my knee under my hips. I feel equally, I'm not doing this. Here we go. And here we start to do our favorite cat and cow. Working on our spine, this is all about the spine. So you inhale, you try to look up, drop your butt, your stomach down like a cow, try to look up, connect your butt to your head. This coming with, with your butt. And exhale, round like a cat, pull your stomach in. Inhale, exhale. Let me show you for the camera purpose. So inhale, exhale, squeeze your glutes, pull yourself up, round, couple more, and the last one, inhale, try to drop your butt, I'm your stomach. Try to look up and exhale. Round like a cat. Pull your stomach in. Feels great. The next one, my favorite. I'm gonna mobilize our hip. We're still in this position. You guys see me? All right. Now we're gonna extend our leg on the side of our body. And what we're doing here, we shift our weight a little bit back. We're not trying to round our back. Let me show you from this position. So you see my head leg on the side, my back is straight. It's not rounded and I'm not trying to drop all the way down. You see, it's changed my posture, my curve. I wanna be flat on my back. This is micro movements, but it feel great. Feel amazing. Now I'm gonna do drive my toes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Good. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and switch side. Extend your left to the side. Wow, this one is more limited today. Interesting. Same thing. You, you start shifting your backward here we go feel that great now toes up and heel up so the motion is come from your hip toes up toes down up and down feel that in the hip don't go from your body just from your See, it's motion is right in here. Couple more. 
and release. Great return to your neutral position, my favorite uh, flying Superman. What we're doing here, we extend our arm forward and our leg cross, cross pattern. So my left arm, right leg, I'm stay here, hold here in this position. See how I feel, I feel comfortable or not? Not really, not today, usually I do. Now you elbow and knee touch each other under your stomach and you extend. You can go fast, you can go slow. Good. Switch and exchange the side. There we go. Left leg, right arm, hold it. See how you feel. A little bit itchy. And here we go, touch under your belly. Couple more. Extend, return to neutral position. Now spread your fingers a little bit wide. And what you're doing here, I'm gonna go to our upper uh, down face dog. You step back with your right foot and now push yourself up, kind of sprinting position. And you step your left foot towards your right down face dog. Now walk your dog. Let me adjust my microphone really good. Looks good. Try to drive that heel down. Walk your dog. Feels great. Pull your chest towards your knee. Now raise your right foot up. Look straight forward. And step forward, drop your knee down, your foot. Now in this position, pull yourself up. If you experience knee pain, put some pad or something soft gel. So here we go. Here, what we're doing, we drive our hip forward. That's the micro -mo movements, but it's a lot of good benefits here. If you experience any pain in your back and your sacrum, Call your doctor or physical therapy. The idea is get that micro movements. I see a lot of people start doing this stretch. Stretch the quadriceps by this way. I don't highly recommend stretch your quadriceps. Quadriceps is really powerful muscle. You want to keep them strong, not a stretch. If you experience tension, always work on your glutes and it's going to help you a lot. So here we go. Perfect. Place your both hands behind your back. And what we're doing here, we start round and extend forward. Mm -hmm. Try to tuck your chin down, extend forward. We're working on this thoracic mobility. We open everything up up here. This is feel great. I'm gonna grab my favorite long band, grab halfway, so right in the middle, just a tiny bit of band. Look in front of myself and I'm start stretching this band towards my chest. Let's do 10 times this way. Just touch your chest. And now, Diagonally, one arm is coming up, one down. Different group of muscles working now. Try to extend all the way towards your chest. Really good. Switch, left arm is down, right up, left up, sorry. Feels good. I feel a lot of heat right now between my shoulder blades. You can actually also adjust your neck. I mean, add your neck to the action turning. Feels great. Feels really good. 
Now my favorite one, the arms coming inside the band, just like that. You flip that big thumb and grab the whole band. If you experience knee pain, put the pad. There we go, just like that. Now it's coming around me under my armpit from this position. What I'm doing here, I start pushing my arms forward. couple times now I'm what I'm doing here I'm trying to look up and pull my fist up really good excellent release the band extend this arm a little bit further but we're still not stretching our quadriceps that's not the idea extend the idea is mobilize that hip and pull that right knee to the side feels good if you want a more deeper stretch not to stretch pulling sensation you're gonna drop your elbow in front of you and stay here and breathe <sighs> It's feel good when you can do this when you're 47. It's feel amazing. <sighs> Always breathe. Now pull yourself up. My right arm is coming right above my head. I'll look up, turn and breathe. <sighs> Now I'm turning down, my, my hands go in the same place. I'm looking down, now I'm step my right foot back. I push myself up a little bit and step back in this plank position. Stay in my plank, make sure it's feel good. Butt up, see how's that feel. And push yourself to down face dog, walk your dog again. I'm gonna work on our left side now. Walk your dog, push your chest towards your knee. Now my left foot is coming up, drive, go through, place that knee down and push yourself up. There we go, great position. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Place my both hands up. Let's do our hip, forgot about our hip. Let me go this way. So. Micro movements. We tilted that ilium, that hip bone, forward and backward. Even this movements, you're gonna feel a lot of pulling sensation in your hip flexors right in here. A lot of my favorite one, you go to the side, side this way, feels great. You can play, you can add some stuff. Now my arms coming right behind my head, right here, and I do the same thing, round it. Now I'm tuck my chin down. Really good. Excellent. How's that feel? Let's grab our band again and do our stretch again because this is a different hip now. Arms in front, but now let's add our neck. Why not? So I pull it towards my chest, untuck my chin. I'm release, or I can do this way extension, release, extension, release, extension release or maybe turning side to side stretch my band release pull release pull release pull release feels good couple more and now diagonally
feels good. Now I'm switched side. My left arm is coming up. Really good. Drop the band. We don't need this anymore. Drop your arms down. Look down. Now my left arm is coming up. Oh, yeah. Let's mobilize our hip. The pull hip to the side. My the knee, you see. And what I'm doing, I can drop my elbow in front of me. Stay here. Breathe. Now my arms, my left arm is coming up. I'm turn up, look up and breathe. Really great. Breathe up here. My arms is going down. I'm look down. Let me turn to the side. I'm look down. And now I'm step forward with my right foot. So I'm look down, I'm step with my right and I'm lean forward. Now I'm slowly Raise myself up vertebra by vertebra. Let me go up here. Inhale, try to reach up. Stay up, pull myself up. And now slowly my head is going down. Try to tuck my chin. And all the way down. Hanging up here. Even grab my elbow. And turn side to side. Almost there. You're almost free. Enjoy your weekends. Now slowly raise myself up. Vertebra by vertebra. Again, look up. Turn up and see how that feels. Stay on my toes. Is that balanced? Try to lean one side to another. Can you just lift one foot? Perfect. Lift another, perfect. If you experience pain in your legs and lower back, call your doctor, you might have a disc problem. So, how's that feel? I feel amazing. Yeah. So we're not gonna do any bands today. We're just probably ready to close our class. As usual, we got that techno music, which is completely okay with me. We're gonna go ahead, find yourself in the back in the sitting position. It's time to close our class, prepare ourselves for weekends. Hoo hoo. All right, go ahead, find yourself in sitting position. Go ahead, close your eyes. You know, let me turn this music off. Hi, I'm sweat, as you can see. There we go. Nothing is bothering you. Doesn't. Nothing bothering us right now. Close your eyes and focus on your third eye. This is the spot between your eyebrows. Try to sit still. Let's a little bit meditate for five minutes. The idea is, is try to not thinking about what's going to happen next. Just be present, be now. Keep pulling yourself up. Just observe. Feel your heartbeat. Feel how you're cooling down. Everything is gets slow around you. All motion, all thinking is gone. You keep focusing on your third eye and go in this deep, deep relaxation. Let everything go. With each breath, 
we go deeper and deeper. Slowly, slowly start wiggling your fingers. Go more deep breath. Let it go. Now place your both hands in front of you and start. Create this friction. Hindu people believe you burn a karma. Maybe you can flap. Now get some little bit more, quicker, 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 feel this heat and spread your arms, open your eyes. Now see yourself, see yourself for this weekend. What's your plan? What's your mission, goal, achievement? Maybe that's enjoy, maybe you're going to go travel somewhere, see some things, great. Hike, sport, maybe just sitting home, it's always good. Enjoy your favorite show, enjoy the art, music, games, whatever you like. No one limits you. But just remember, everything has to be in balance. Work, pleasure, have to be everything balanced. Now see yourself and release this energy. Thank you for joining our class. Thanks to be with us, guys. Thank for your support. I will, will see you next week. Enjoy your Monday, 7.30. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good day.